15,000 500 miles per hour is five miles a second. So probably about eight, eight miles, excuse me, eight, eight, nine kilometers per second, something like that. It's very fast. So you're traveling around the Earth. You get 16 sunrises and sunsets every day in a 24 hour period. That's how fast you're going. So you're going to get 45 minutes of day, 45 minutes of night, 45 minutes of day, 45 minutes of night, right? And one of the biggest surprises when you're on that daytime side of the planet, and let's see, you folks in Malaysia, you guys are all, it's dark here now in Idaho, it's nighttime here, but you're all in the beautiful daytime side of the planet, right? And if you were outside right now and you looked up, you'd be looking up through all of this blue, maybe some gray, maybe some whites, blue, gray, whites, but we're looking up at this, at, through this atmosphere, right? And it looks like it goes on forever. And the biggest shock went to me when you are on the International Space Station and you're traveling that around the Earth like that, and you're up, you're up about 250 miles, so you're up pretty high. On the, when you are on the daytime side of the planet, and it's still hard for me to It is absolutely pitch black, all the way down to the edge of the planet. Pitch black. You know, it's not like daytime on Earth. It is pitch black. The Earth is shiny, but it is pitch black down the edge. And so you look at that edge of the planet, you look at the horizon, and that atmosphere that we think, from our perspective here on Earth, looks like it goes on forever, right? When you're looking at that same view, but from the perspective from space, that atmosphere is about, I'm holding up my fingers, it's, it's about an eighth of an inch at most. It's like the skin of an apple compared to the size of the apple. It is incredibly thin. And you realize, wow, that this, we, you know, our Earth is a spaceship. We are on this spaceship and the only thing that separates us from this very harsh environment is that really thin we are all on this Earth together. We are all crewmates on planet Earth together. And you also start to see how other things are connected. Things like um, how the ocean is connected to the, with the atmosphere and the land. And uh, things that I used to see and think of as isolated thunderstorms. There's no such thing as isolated thunderstorms. They're, they're huge systems. And when you're traveling over the Earth, you see those. It's not just one little thunderstorm one big little thunderstorm here and one over here. They're constantly kicking each other's flashes over, off, off, over and over again like fireworks. So all of us on this planet are all connected. And I'll go back to the original with great teamwork and, um, and with, uh, with an open mind and with a vision that we can all share on what we want to do and how, how we can accomplish it. Accomplish it, we can. There's nothing that we can't do. Thank you for that.